Let's take a further look at this controversial issue. And I'm now being joined live from our Abuja studios by the President's Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshin. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining us here on the News at 10. At the heart of this $1 billion approval controversy is the timing. When Boko Haram is said to have been technically defeated, your government has said that repeatedly. And in the run-up to the elections 2019, how do you reconcile both ends? Well, two things there. One, that fund is not meant to battle Boko Haram. It's not Boko Haram fund. It is fund to battle insecurity. Boko Haram is not the only insecurity, it's not the only form of insecurity we have in Nigeria. So those who have dubbed it Boko Haram fund are the ones was meant to fight Boko Haram. Rather, is to equip the military so that they could get uh, better equipment to fight insecurity in the country, not just Boko Haram. Then talking of the timing, there is no timing that uh, is it, not good for security. Every time is security time. Those who are reading political meaning into it, it is just unfortunate they play politics with everything and they will play politics with the very life, life of, of Nigeria, Nigeria which, which is very bad. Now I'm poised to ask you, was due process followed by Mr. President Muhammad Buhari in this approval in view of the position of the National Assembly insisting that it has the powers to appropriate funds for such expenses according to uh, the constitution which they rely on. As we speak now, the communication to the National Assembly is about ready. Those who have been venting spleen and flexing muscles over the matter should just have uh, bothered to make inquiries from the senior special assistant to the president on National Assembly matters. If they had inquired, they would have been told that the communication will soon be on the way to the National Assembly. Why was the communication not done before the approval? Well, it couldn't have been done before the approval. The approval had to come like it came, and then Mr. President, having approved it, sends the communication to the National Assembly. Because people are concerned that that will amount to putting the cart ahead of the horse. No, no, no. It, it, it is the proper procedure. The, the Economic Council met in December, mooted the idea of the fund. Now the matter was taken to the president. The president approved. Having approved, he then communicates to the National Assembly. That's the right procedure. Clarify this, if you will. Many Nigerians are concerned about how much has been spent in the years, past three years of this administration in fighting terrorism. Does the government have any plan to make public amounts spent so far, at least to clear some doubts? No, I, 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 I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know because that's outside my poor view. And I doubt world over if any government will come to say this is how much we have spent on security. Because can you quantify uh, the, the, the amount of one life? No. No, so it's not something that I think any government will begin to disclose. But we know that it's expensive. I remember that the chief of army staff spoke about uh, some, amount, some trillions of naira recently. It's very expensive. Security is expensive, but human life is much more expensive. And there are suspicion about the release of this $1 billion because when you look at how the Americans fought the insurgency there, especially the Taliban, where they spent trillions of dollars to do that and successfully rooted the Taliban out uh, uh, in that uh, uh, guerrilla type war. The similar situation is what we've seen with Boko Haram, the same style of fighting and attacking soft targets. How do you justify one billion dollars to trillions of dollars used to display or displace the Taliban? Well, you have just justified it. The America itself spent trillions of dollars, and Nigeria is spending three, is asking for 360 billion naira now. So what you have just said uh, justifies what Nigeria is doing. If America spent trillions of dollars to fight uh, the Taliban, and don't forget that eventually America began to talk with the Taliban, and that is why the president has said as many. Insurgents as will embrace amnesty 
will be granted amnesty. Well, thank you so much indeed for talking to us, the Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to Mr. President, Femi Additional. Thank you so much indeed for talking to us here on the News at 10.